What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you the best Overwatch 2 settings to get the best performance and graphics quality on your system. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Open up Overwatch 2 and navigate to your video settings. Most of these settings are also available in Overwatch 1, but there are some additional texture and detail options available here. First of all, you should set the display mode to full screen. This will improve your performance by a lot in most cases. Below, set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. The field of view will not change your performance by a lot, and I like to increase this option to 103. Disable VSync, especially on monitors with a low refresh rate. Disable triple buffering, and I prefer to enable the performance stats option including all of the available performance indicators, such as the FPS, GPU temperature and VRAM usage, to see how well the game runs on my system. NVIDIA graphics card users should in most cases set the NVIDIA Reflex option to enabled. This will reduce input lag and your overall GPU latency. Below, set the FPS limit to custom and set the frame rate cap to a value above your monitor's refresh rate, but below the maximum FPS you can get. In my case that would be 160 FPS. If you are unsure about your monitor's refresh rate, then simply right click your desktop and select Display Settings. Make sure to select the correct display and under Related Settings, click on Advanced Display. Make sure to choose the highest refresh rate available to you. Back in your Overwatch 2 video settings, you can set the overall graphics quality preset to low, medium or even high, depending on your PC's performance. Setting it to ultra or epic will not make much of a difference when using 1080p resolution on your monitor. When expanding your advanced graphics quality settings, you can set the render scale from 50 to 200%. This option will have a lot of impact on the performance of the game, especially when using a low-end graphics card. This option will be set to 100% by default. If you experience low system performance after lowering most of your video settings, then make sure to reduce the render scale to 75%. This will reduce the visual texture quality of the game, but will certainly make it playable on your system. As this is a competitive first-person shooter, I prefer to reduce my texture and detail settings to get the most performance. You might want to increase some of these settings when using a better PC. Set the texture quality to low, which will leave you with decent in-game quality. I prefer to disable reflections, shadow detail, and set the detail setting below to low. Turn off anti-aliasing as well as ambient occlusion. Lastly. Disabling local reflections and the other settings such as gamma correction, contrast or brightness will have no impact on the performance of the game. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.